hey, my last video ran a little bit too long. So, we are timing this one and we're going to go faster. Let the excitement begin. I decided to do a video about tourism for Yemen and Iceland because Yemen deserves better facts than their most visited internet sites and because Iceland still hasn't watched any of my videos. So here goes. Now, for Iceland. Beautiful country of Iceland. You can go hiking. And my friends Tim and Mag would love this. Listen to this. More than half of Iceland is over 1,300 feet above sea level. And a large part of the island is covered by lava, glaciers, lakes, and sand. Few places in Iceland have marked walking paths, but hiking is a favorite pastime for Icelanders and tourists alike. Sounds exactly like the type of thing that Tim and Mag would do, but they need to listen to the advice that follows. If you organize your trip independently, make sure you bring adequate clothing and provision and that someone knows where you are going. I love you guys, but you worry me sometimes. Okay, and horseback riding. I've only done horseback riding once, but I'd love to go horseback riding again. Here is their advertisement for horseback riding in Iceland. The Vikings arrived in Iceland more than a thousand years ago, bringing their horses with them. You can ride Viking horses! They'd be kind of old, but it'd be exciting. That... Oh, oh, I almost forgot. Gleema. That was my... favorite sport that I read about. Kalima is an ancient form of wrestling native to Iceland. Tournaments are not often held, but an opportunity to witness this curious dance of opponents should be seen to be believed. For a description of the rules of Kalima in English, visit the website of the Kalima Association. Those are my favorites for Iceland, and now for Yemen. As far as I can tell, Yemen's best tourist attraction is Sakultra which is a beautiful, lush, verdant, resort-like island. I feel like there's probably some really cool historical buildings in Yemen. I mean, I'm just, it must have an amazing history. But that is not what they're beginning, the beginning paragraph of their tourism news in Yemen advertises. I'm going to read this to you. To the untrained thrill-seeker, Yemen would seem to promise the kind of adventures that only James Bond would relish. Kidnapping by tribal factions, riots over gasoline prices, cheap and plentiful AK-47s, and taxi drivers who pack daggers and pistols. Plus, there's a specter of terrorism. The bombing of the USS Cole in Aden in 2000 presaged much bigger attacks. But, in contrast to the rest of the Arabian Peninsula, which is mostly hot, dry, and barren, Yemen is practically a cool, green paradise. Very, practically very important. With crisp mountain air, enormous acacia trees, pristine coral reefs, and bearded fields bursting with cut, a psychoactive plant that induces mild euphoria. It might just be me. But I feel like you should start with Socotra, the beautiful, lush, resort-like island, and not, this country is really dangerous and we have some sort of psychoactive plant. I just, I feel like that would be better. And that is my opinion on the tourism site. So, I am either up to tourism by a small amount, or made lots of people hate me. But that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching.